Hello, everybody. I wanted to give you a quick preview of the uh, 7.0 firmware for the ICO Duo retro adapter, USB retro adapter. As you know, um, the adapter is designed to uh, take a regular Atari joystick um, and um, up to two of them, player one and player two, you plug them in here. And on the other end, you plug them to your RetroPie or Mac or PC and then run your favorite emulator. And uh, you'll get the authentic joystick, uh, Atari joystick gameplay, just like uh, the real thing. Um, but uh, what's neat about the 7.0 firmware is um, these additional buttons that you have here. Um, you no longer have to manually go into your emulators and uh, map them to specific things. If you've got your emulator set up to work with certain controllers and certain button combinations, um, you can actually pre-program this device with these buttons, which I'm going to show you, uh, so that it can actually press whatever joystick button you want by pressing these. It can also even uh, press some keyboard keys. So this device emulates both a joystick and a keyboard and allows you to map uh, these buttons. So Firmware 7 is uh, compatible with the uh, six-button um, um, seventh generation and above hardware. Those are the ones that we started shipping in 2021. Um, so if you've got six buttons, dual port, most likely it will work for you. Uh, if not, we do have a trade-in program that for very low cost, we can swap them out and get you the uh, latest versions. But let me show you how this works. Um, um, these newer models uh, this year have the uh, joystick cable housing um, uh, pre-connected, so that way it's much more durable if you uh, you don't by accidentally um, um, injure the device. So the older models, you know, let me open them up inside and show you. Um, you push to the right here on the button, on the left side where my thumb is. I'm going to press and then lift up. Um, this is what the unit looks like inside. Um, the older models, the case was a little bit smaller, and you could see this micro USB port. But the micro USB port is a surface mounted uh, unit. Let me show you another one that I've got plugged into my PC here. Uh, so they're surface mounted, and if you uh, move them left to right by too much, or uh, drag them, or drop this device uh, with a cable on, sometimes it could damage the USB port. That's why I move the uh, Port to be inside the casing. But okay, so here's uh, all about the 7.0 firmware. So notice um, I've got it plugged in, and I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, my joystick to the uh, right side here, which is port one. Um, as I move the joystick left and right, notice uh, uh, it responds. So I quickly know if my joystick's uh, working. Some people use this as joystick tester. If you've got a bunch of joystick sitting around, you know, you don't even have to have a PC. You just turn it on, and you can quickly check the directions, check the button, and make sure it's working. Uh, the new unit units also automatically detect two-button joysticks, so 7800 joysticks. Uh, both uh, button A and button B uh, would work. So uh, these buttons here um, are the two that uh, are, are going to show up depending on the 7800 um, joysticks. All right, and then um, let me show you um, how it works on the game controller control panel or test you know, your favorite joystick testing solution. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller, get out of the way. So if you go to the control panel, um, you know, you've got your um, retro adapter device here. Um, now notice it looks like a keyboard on this new firmware 7 because, as I said, the device can emulate both a keyboard and um, joystick. So um, if you right click on it, you'll notice there is keyboard settings and game controller settings. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the game controller settings. Um, um, notice that you've got uh, uh, two ports on here, um, you know, port one and port two. Those correspond to the two ports on the device here, left and right. Um, so the top one is the one that we're connected to right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up and uh, show you. Uh, we've expanded on the number of buttons that you have. So uh, you can have up to 32 different uh, buttons on this joystick. 
and you can map these uh, buttons on the actual device to be any button on these 32 or as I mentioned you can even map them to keyboard so let me show you how that is done so currently um, if I press uh, these buttons here so notice uh, this one on the screen itself um, when you look at it on the screen um, you know you've got uh, the number six showing up uh, so that's the uh, button number that it is actually but it's a zero base so it goes zero one two zero five six on Linux on Windows uh, button one is actually um, uh, zero so that's why if when I press it on Windows since I'm on Windows I see number seven lit up because it's a not a zero based system so it's always going to be one more than what the screen says on Windows on Linux it'll match exactly so um, if I do the next button um, that says button one so on Windows as I said one more extra so it's two and it goes up like this to the next uh, and and so on so these are already pre-mapped to the first uh, uh, six and then the fire button is button zero on Linux is button one here so notice as I move left and right uh, both the screen um, on the unit is responding and the uh, uh, the PC is uh, showing that the unit's working so that's how quickly you can uh, check the uh, uh, unit but now what we want to do is we want to uh, re map the uh, buttons so the way you do that is uh, you get to the menu and the way you get to the menu is you're going to have to press both the green and the red button simultaneously so um, um, I'm going to go ahead and press them at the same time um, you'll notice that it went to the menus so uh, first option is to show the current maps um, by the way on the menus one is always this green button the green is go which is one uh, two is red and then yellow is always uh, three uh, when you look at the screens so just remember one two three is uh, how you navigate to the menus so I want to show the uh, current maps so I'm going to push the green button which is number one uh, so here they are I can see I've got this one mapped to number one number two number three four five six in a, in a circle that's how they're showing up on the screen so I'm going to push three to exit out of this and go back to the menu and then notice number two is a mapping button option so I'm going to go ahead and let's say I want to remap uh, the black button to uh, something else so maybe I want to map it to button 10 on the joystick so they, I, well, the way I would do that is I would go ahead and say uh, press 2 which is this one here which is map button and then it says press the button that uh, you want to map I'm going to push the black button because that's the one I want to change uh, it's showing me that it's currently set to button 5 and then this is to increase which is 2 and this is uh, 1 which is to decrease so minus and plus and then this is to save which is the yellow so I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase so notice that I can uh, you know bring it up let's let's map to button number 20 which is going to be um, 21 on the uh, Windows uh, device I'm going to go ahead and push save okay and then exit okay so now um, if you noticed uh, on the uh, devices here I'm going to just uh, press a couple of buttons here so um, and the way it's uh, oops I pressed the wrong button let me just get out of here is it okay all right so um, the black button is the one we program and notice that when I press it that uh, corresponding button that we mapped it to it's coming and on the screen it shows 20 but it's obviously mapped to 21 on Windows as we said so that's uh, working uh, perfect okay but now um, I want to program maybe the white button to press some key you know you can private press escape or enter or a number or a function key um, so let's let's do that I'm going to go ahead and go to menu here and I'm going to say map button which is two and then I'm going to press the white button because that's the one I want to change it's currently mapped to uh, joystick number six button 
So I'm going to increase this number. And as I pass number 31, which is the uh, highest number, because you got 0 through 31 for the 32 buttons. So watch what happens. So now it becomes A, which is keyboard A, B, C, D, and all, all the way up to Z. And then after you get to Z, then this is the enter uh, key. This is the function 1, all the function keys uh, up to 12, and then number keys. These are number 0, 2, 3, 4. Let's say we want to program it to number 5. So numeric key 5. And I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to exit. Okay. So now um, what we got to do is bring up um, maybe Notepad. I want to bring up uh, you know Notepad here in the corner. So uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, press this uh, uh, white button, which is what we program. And notice now it's uh, pressing five, like uh, you know number five. Let's talk to keyboard. So um, you can you know reprogram these and um, even if you unplug the device um, and plug it back in, it's going to remember your last programming, so you don't have to worry about it. Once you do it once, um, here I will go push this button again. Notice it still remembers that I uh, did five. A couple other things quickly I want to show you. Um, in addition to uh, the menu mode, which was these buttons, the, the, the green and the red, uh, there's other combination buttons. If you push the right two, um, the red and the yellow, uh, it pauses the display. And this, uh, uh, especially in paddle mode, uh, can in improve the response time a little bit of the device because it doesn't have to worry about writing on the screen. Um, but it's not needed. If you've got a good PC or a RetroPie, it'll be fast enough and you won't you tell the difference. But uh, it was requested from some folks, so I went ahead and added it. Then you've got the two buttons on the top, which will change mode. So if it goes on port 2, it means if I press anything here, it's sending it to joystick port. Of course, if it's a keyboard, it's going to always send it to the keyboard. But uh, uh, any other buttons that are mapped to joysticks, it's going to send it to the second joystick. Then if I go to uh, press mode again, it's going to go to driving controller mode. So if you've got driving controllers, this is the mode you want to be in. And as you move the driving controllers, it'll start spinning around. And uh, you also have ability to uh, control the resolution while you're in driving controller mode. So um, the way um, that's done um, is I'll show that in another video. Um, and then you've got the two on the left, which is the blue and the um, uh, green. Those, that's a reset button, so if you press them at the same time, it's going to go ahead and, and reset. Okay, so menu, um, display, mode, and reset. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and the new firmware 7. I'll be posting this on the site. If you're interested in the trading program or uh, have suggestions on other improvements that we could make to this, uh, please post them on the video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you all later. Bye.